Okay, so this will be an attempt at a new playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance in hardcore settings for the achievement Hardcore Henry. I've already died. <laughs> One day you were throwing stones with your pal Fritz, but hitting a tree didn't entertain him for long. The last words you ever heard were, and this is how a trebuchet shoots. Okay, you survived. Medieval life is full of uncertainty and woes. Spring gives way to winter and the years have borne away your carefree youth. Neither you have escaped the blows of fate. Like every man judged by God, you too have your cross to bear. So for Hardcore Henry, we are going to be selecting every single negative perk. So nightmares. Whenever I wake up after sleeping, I have a penalty to my stats. <coughs> Claustrophobia. Pretty much just means that if I wear an helmet with the visor down, makes it so I'm anxious and your attacks are weakened. Hemophilia. All it takes is a scratch and you start to bleed like a stuck pig. Once it starts, the bleeding is faster and it's harder to stop. Numbskull. Your mother dropped you on the head as a baby. She kissed it better and the bumps soon faded, but ever since then you're a little slow at getting the hang of things. This lowers your acquisition of experience. This one should be a pain. Consumption. You once caught an acid chill and ended up with a persistent cough. Many thought you'd never survive, but eventually you healed. Nevertheless, since that time, you don't breathe very well and your stomach drains fastly. Okay. Shakes. Makes it harder for lockpicking, pickpocketing, and shooting. The bow. Tapeworm. I need to eat a lot more. Sonambulant. Ah. It's not unusual for you to wake up somewhere else than where you went to bed. Brittle bones. Ever since you were little, stairs and ladders have been your worst enemies. All it takes is a little fall and your bones break with an awful crack. You suffer much worse injuries than other when you fall. Okay, so every single one selected and let's begin. This game is really pretty. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorching day. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, 
It looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> you go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger-bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Now don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Okay, so we'll be playing as our boy Henry. I want to be strong. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Mm -hmm. What does it matter? So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? Not well. What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Hmm, you're misjudging them. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. Oh. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Hmm father angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? 
I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Thank you, mother. So, pick up all the food. Get it. Get it. Get it. Mm hmm. Some more apples. Come here. Some cheese. I'm gonna eat right from the pot. I'm still a bit malnourished, so what kind of food? I think I need to eat all of it. This gives me the most nourishment, I guess. Bread as well. Lentil soup. And some apples. Chomp. Oh. Three bandages, a marigold decoction. Within one minute, we'll add 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Cancels the effects of Lazarus potion. So it's pretty much a healing potion. I'm gonna take two of them and save your snaps is our save game. A liquor of exotic fragrance, drinking it is an experience that can't be forgotten. Okay. What else have we got here? Oh, we have a nice stash. Just stealing food, I guess. No, not really stealing, it's my house, but from my parents. Some bread. Some cheese. Nothing else here. Apples. I don't have lockpicks. Cabbages. Carrots. Most of this stuff will be rotten before I can eat it. But might as well take it, I guess. Something here. A nice home. Uh huh. So I know all of it already. It is a nice day. I hope it doesn't become a storm. And now I need to go see my father. Indeed. Hello, father. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Hmm. Sorry, father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. <laughs> How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. 
Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay, so I have a couple of fetch quests. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Gotta buy a bag of charcoal at the market for my father. Collect the debt from Kunish. Pick up the cross guard at the castle. And buy some ale at the tavern. We have a pretty much more detailed description on this part. There goes mother. With her bucket. And we shall continue the adventures of Henry in the next episode.